The opinions expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, staff, management, or advertisers. Coming to you on stations coast to coast, it's the Making It Radio Show with your hosts, self-made millionaires, Tommy Runfola and Todd Williams. Tommy Runfola, founder and president of one of America's top technology consumer products and media companies, author, investor, and National Entrepreneur of the Year nominee. Tommy has worked with five U.S. presidents and vice presidents. Todd Williams, founder and CEO of Inc. Magazine's 2013 fastest growing food and beverage companies in America, a former NBC TV personality and Harvard business alumnus. Making It is the source for success stories and in the trenches information that outlines a roadmap to the American dream. And now, here's Tommy and Todd. Welcome to the show, America. This is Tommy Runfola and Todd Williams, America's favorite entrepreneurs, coast to coast. So, Todd, how's 2017 treating you? Pretty good, pretty good. We're in our brand new studio now. Yes. Here, uh, complete audio, video filming studio everything that was ever made for radio or television is in this studio including our new producer doug who we we, snatched out from the uh, world poker tour uh, actually uh, i i won i won him in in a poker game (laughs) yes so he's in dentured in servitude for the rest of his life you know he's uh done a lot of filming for them uh bacardi big company so uh he's done a good job we're looking good here all right. Well, we have with us, as usual, our We survived our first year, too. We, and we let's survived let's the first year. Um, and uh, thank God we had uh, Brittany here to keep us in line. <laughs> so we were able to do that. Uh, our news and enter- our former news and entertainment reporter and now our moderator and news anchor, Brittany Dorsey, yes. is with us. More Thank you. New, new title. Year, new year, new title. I have a bigger responsibility of keeping you two in line over there across the studio. All and right. we have a new lineup for our show today, which I'm very excited about. New segments here. Um, All right, so we are focusing more this year on the business of show business, and in particular, different reality shows that are featuring entrepreneurs, businesses, and those people out there that are trying to make it. So I'm, I'm very excited about this. So we're we're not only focusing on show business; we're focusing on making America great again. Absolutely, you know that that phrase that whole theme. Just keep it rolling. It it, it was actually taken from us, Uh, right? So (laughs) we've been making uh, um, America is finally catching up to making it. Well, you know, maybe we did influence that a little bit. Maybe, maybe. All All right. right. So first up, our first new segment is called Show Buzz, and we're going to be going over the show Bar Rescue, which is a really popular reality show. We're going to get back to that in a second. Mm -hmm. Then next up, new segment, we have the Danger Report. Danger. So who's in danger this year? That sounds dangerous. It is. And and be prepared. (laughs) Be prepared for that. And these are businesses that are in danger. Businesses that are in danger. Yeah. If you're personally in danger, we're not going over that. Businesses that are in danger. Okay. Uh, Then another new segment is called The Fix, fix. where you two weigh in on what suggestions you would offer to businesses that need fixed. All right. So they need a little help here. Well, The Fix is in. Keep making it. To keep making it, Tommy. Or a lot of help. The Fix is in, and and Todd and I are going to fix them. Okay, good. All right. Well, there's a time and a place for that. We'll get to that. Okay. Then we're bringing back making it or breaking it. And I'm leaving our topic a total surprise on that All one. All right. So we're going to have to get Stay tuned. There. Yes, exactly. All right. All right. So first up, the show Bar Rescue. Now, I had watched this show previously. I've watched it. It's actually been on since 2011. And it's hosted by the star John Taffer. Now, he has a background in the nightclub and pub industry. He's been in the industry for years. And let me tell you, he really lays the smack down when he goes in and turns these businesses around. Well, you know, Brittany, you recommended this show to me. Yes. And I'm, I'm hooked. Really? I, I love John Taffer. Really? As I thought matter you'd like fact, his personality. You, you know who he reminds me of? I figured Tom, Tommy would like you. Yeah. Like the show. N- no? Well, there's another one, uh, another person that we're going to be talking about on um, uh, another show that reminds me of me. Okay. This guy reminds me of an old white guy version of Todd. <laughs> That's, yeah, I mean, he's just like Todd. He's, you know, he's right out there, whatever he's thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really a gregarious personality. Yeah, well, he just yeah. says, says whatever's on his like mind, but thinks about it after the fact. Yeah, I mean. Is anybody paying attention to the, the people who he's talking to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's, he's the show. The bar business 
brings another level of a bad in business person. Oh yeah, they're I mean, in a class by themselves. They're in a class by themselves. They actually are. I mean, the people that own these uh, bars. Yeah. So he's got his hands full. Yeah. Well, he's he's completely politically incorrect, which I love. Yeah. Uh, he knows his business. This guy has turned around over 600 bars wow. in, his, in his life. Wow. So, you know, he's got quite a consulting business. Yeah. He's in great demand all, all over the yeah. country. And he just knows his stuff. I like watching the dynamic of how he goes in. And I mean, this is kind of true of all businesses, but and especially for small business owners, these people, they have a certain way that they do things. You know, a lot of these businesses, these bars, they've been around for 5, 10, 15, sometimes 20 years. Right. So they're very set in their ways. And they're they're doing just enough of the right things that they're managing to stay afloat and not totally be extinct. They're making it as a business, so they have some pride built up in that, and they know they're doing a little bit of something that's working. But there's so much that need to be changed. I think he does an excellent job of mitigating those egos well, and laying the smack down in a loving but very firm-handed way. Right. And I, I just think it's really interesting to watch, you know, what people think is working and how much they try to stick to their guns and their their ego. And at what point they finally break and listen to him as the voice of reason. Well, you know, he talks about doing a reset. Yeah. And every business uh, that, is, you know, many of these bars get taken over because they're they're just not working. Exactly. And and uh, w one of the things that he uh, emphasizes over and over again is if you go into a, a bar or any kind of business that isn't working and you take it over, mm -hmm. you can't just perpetuate exactly what they were doing. Right. You, you have to have a, a new idea a right. new reset he calls it a reset yeah very true and he goes in there and he looks at what i call the anatomy of the business okay he goes through every element of the business you know customer service mm -hmm. um, um marketing advertising yeah. sales uh their signage yeah uh how they're serving the drinks the customer experience he gets a lot into that which uh, i think is awesome we, to, it, to see behind the scenes and, and that's what every business is about is it about the customer experience yeah right you're listening to Tommy and Todd, coast to coast, so I'm making it. Um, I think that one of the things that the audience can learn, um, I think that we can introduce the audience, to anyone who hasn't watched the show, they can learn from this, is that he really is um, detailed about the science. There's a science to succeeding. Right. And I think a lot of people who own a small business in particular, they're, they're, they're not into any of the science. Mm -hmm. They're not into any of the formulas. Right. Nothing is done on purpose. Right. I mean, this guy, it talks about uh, the music tempo, the alcohol selection, uh, the, the wall color affects how, people dr how much people drink, um, you know, and all these details about it. And so I think um, in the bar business, you know, it, it has to be well-oiled uh, or it's not. Yes. And a well-oiled machine when you go to a well-working bar or restaurant. And it's so, f that business is so fickle. It is. I mean, you're either hot or you're not. Right. It's not like a, a, a accounting firm or a landscaping company. Someone starts, if you're not hot, people just abandon you. And these owners, they go in, and a lot of them are doing it for the status of owning a bar. Of course. Mm -hmm. But they're not really a business person. Right. Right. And so he's coming and having to say, look, there's a whole science to the, the, the delivering the experience yeah. to people in a bar. And it, I think that that's a lot of where the ego wars happen because these people, they, they want to have a cool bar. They're going just on, you know, a coolness or a feeling of right. they think they're doing something right. And then when he's really pulling out the P and L's, he's pulling out, you know, where the profit margins are. He's, he's looking at all of the business things that's where I think a lot of the clash is, you know, and it's a lot of what we talk about here a lot, which is you have this vision, you have this dream, you have this imagination of this thing you want to create, but then you have to make it work with real world business formulas. You have to make your PL add up at the end of the day, and you have to be able to keep the business running and keep paying everybody to make that dream a true reality and a sustainable reality. You, you know, we're, we're going to talk about it uh, later in the show, but, um, uh... I've had experiences in restaurants, um, mm -hmm. n not so much bars because I don't really frequent many bars, but mm -hmm. uh, where you, you have uh, you used a to. Well, back in the old days. <laughs> he went to dance clubs. He likes to dance. When I was your age, yeah, uh, he youngster. Barred up, yes. He barred up. No, uh, I, I, um, I'm not uh, a bar person, but 
uh, he'll go back into the kitchen, for instance, mm -hmm. and he'll see, you know, the menu screwed up. They're not bringing the food out fast right. enough. They have the wrong menu. Yeah. Uh, it's not clean. Yeah. Uh, the people aren't well trained. They're not coordinating. They can't get the food out fast. One bad experience in, in a restaurant, um, you know, is like 10 bad experiences because what happens oh, yeah. is people go out and they tell all their friends, mm -hmm. oh, I went there. Don't try it. It's not worth it. It's, it, you know, this is wrong. That's wrong. And so on. Uh, so he, he really gets into those things. You know, Todd mentioned technology. I didn't realize until watching the show, but there's uh, computer programs that you can buy uh, that will tell you whether you're over pouring the liquor. And uh, in one episode, uh, they were wasting like twelve hundred dollars a month in uh, over poured liquor. Oh, right. and and he has a, a way of measuring that uh, through technology hmm. and so on. And uh, he brings in experts, uh, uh, expert mixologists that teaches uh, the people how to to make the drinks uh, faster. Um, an, an expert chef who teaches them how to make bar food faster and more attractive and and have it uh, have a local flavor and so on. And uh, he, he goes in and uh, does marketing, uh, looks at their signage, uh, changes their names. Um, he, he has something that he always talks about. And he said, don't let your past rob your future. OK, mm -hmm. so what he's really doing is saying you're, you're not stuck to what was failing in the past. You have to create an entire new uh, paradigm for this business. Yes. And um, another thing, you know, there's a lot of fights uh, in, in in this bit in this type of business it's, it's unlike the other you, you mean fist show. fights fights like and <laughs> he, he pulled up on one show and he said before he got in to talk to the owner he was dealing with the fight with the, the employees are fighting out in the parking lot well actually so, I, I, mean, I saw that episode and it was the owner fighting with an employee slapped right. him upside the head i mean yeah so th there's a lot of uh bar fights and fights with the employees now see that's where you would really a, come in handy Tom. Blah, blah, blah. it's just a very you, volatile business you, you'd be see. slapping the owner after you saw him slap right. an employee right if you're just tuning in you're listening to making it new year new studio and we have a new format we're talking about the show bar rescue and weighing in on uh what we like about you know how they handle turning around businesses his wife uh goes in under undercover yes you know and uh, checks checks out the business. Yeah, and, that stuff. and and that's very revealing. So that's very. Revealing. Have you ever done that in any of your businesses? Have you ever had someone shop your your own business? I have. It's quite a, a, a an eye opening experience. Not to, I, I'm so busy like shopping it myself. You're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I forget to have. No, you're you're, someone, you're kind of conspicuous when you right. go into your own business. He doesn't even Todd. have yeah. to go undercover. Yeah. Everybody's people. on their best behavior when you show up. Yes. Yeah. No, I've I've done that before, and uh, it, it's revealing uh, to the owner to find out how maybe even things you've gone over over and over mm -hmm. and over again don't get done in your right. own business and you don't know it because you you can't be watching everybody all the time well and it's interesting because then you see if it's systems that you have a bit as a business owner and as a leader need to enforce and make yeah. sure are clear in your business or it gets down to the character of the people right so i think that i i love that any kind of undercover stuff like that because it really makes you see like one thing is it a situational operational problem or is it a character issue? An another thing I notice is that uh, on on shows like this, every time they go in, it's the owner that needs fixed. It's like Caesar the dog whisperer. It, it always starts goes, with the owner. They say we have a dog problem, and he says you're the problem. Right. He has to fix the owner, not the dog. Mm -hmm. it, it's fixing the owner, not the business. The owner gets fixed, the business gets fixed. You're, you're absolutely and right. And then everybody else falls in line. You know, I, I had a friend uh, who went into the bar business, had never been in the bar business before, uh, went in with two, two other partners. Uh, they started out making $20,000 a month each. Jeez. By the sixth month, uh, they were losing $20,000 a month oh. each. That's uh, how, and that's what they, they hired a John Taffer kind of person. He went in there and found that literally everybody was stealing from the bartenders oh to the cocktail waitresses to the manager skimming off the top. Yeah. Wow. And uh, they really had to learn the bar business and, yeah. and the culture yeah. and what you have happens. To have a feel for your money. Absolutely. I've, I've heard a guy that owned a bar. He said, you just have to walk in and have a feel for how much money's 
is supposed to be made that night based on the people. Yeah, and you know these people who who do this professionally and and feel they can steal, they they know how to do it real slick, exactly. even if you're watching. All right, guys, we're cutting a break. We'll be right back. You can check out all of our episodes, makingitnow.com.